For Wednesday, right? Yeah. I got it, and there's Tom. Here play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Welcome to Retired Time Productions, and this is Dave. And I've got something new and exciting to show you. This is called the BidEye Camera. And this has got some new features that I'm really excited about, and I hope you are too, especially if you're into the mini quad thing, or you're just going to do some FPV, and you want to record HD video at the same time, this thing will do it. So it's basically the instruction sheet. You get some extra standoffs, uh, some tie wraps here. It comes with a lens cover, and there is a cable to hook up to your FPV transmitter. And it has a vibration mount right here that can be removed if you don't want it. And you can get it on Amazon, and I'll put a link on under the video. So here's the camera itself. Comes with a lens cap. Is mounted on a shock absorbing mount right there. And it can be removed. And they give you some extra little standoffs if you want to mount it on your aircraft. Now this camera has a 155 degree field of view coming off the lens. It weighs about 25 grams and it has a one meter focal length. So you know things can get up to you know about a meter away and they'll still be in focus. Uh, the power supply voltage for this which is supplied by this red wire right here that red wire, let me get a pointer here is up to 17 volts so 5 to 17 volts on this power supply so that ought to get you up to a four cell battery uh, and then the yellow wire is for video the black wire here is ground and then there's a white wire for the audio and yes it does have a microphone right there is a microphone and it has pretty good sound I'll show you that in a little bit and the camera is actually composed of two boards and on this, uh, the board closest to the camera lens, there's actually a micro SD card slot. Don't know if you can see that right here, a micro SD card slot. So you can put your micro SD card in there. And uh, I think it'll take up to a 64 gig. And you can record 1080p at 30 frames a second or 720p at 60 frames a second. So this is similar to the Mobius in the fact that it can record HD at 30 frames a second, but it has much lower latency. I think the Mobius is like around 128 milliseconds, and this is only 60 milliseconds on the latency. This is the BidEye camera doing the latency test with the timer on the laptop. The camera is feeding back into the FPV monitor. And we're just watching to see how far behind it is. The monitor is behind the camera by supposedly around 60 milliseconds. Let's find out. So there you have it. It looks to me like it's around 63 milliseconds from what I can measure right there. The BidEye has a configuration tool that you can use to create a configuration file. You can change the video scaling. You can also go into the video option and pick your video size and frame rate. You can do the record option like stop recording or just overwrite the card. And you can change the light settings. That's like white balance. And audio, you can actually turn off the mic if you want or record music on there. You can put a logo onto the camera and or text. And then you can save the file to a configuration file. So this camera starts recording as soon as it's plugged in. So I'll just go ahead and plug in a battery here. And you can see the blue light comes on first. And then it'll start to record unless you don't have an SD card in, which I don't. So I don't have an SD card in it, so it's going to start flashing red. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the SD card into the SD card slot, which is right there. Just stick it in there and then snap it in place. There we go. Now the microphone should be at the bottom. That makes the camera right side up. And we'll go ahead and plug it in like this. So there it's blinking and recording 1080p 30 frames a second. Okay, let's take it outside and maybe down the dark parts of the basement and just see how it compares to the Mobius as far as recording. So here we go, BidEye camera versus Mobius wide angle with HD recording at 30 frames a second. That's 1080p at 30 frames a second. Let's go into the dark part of the basement here. I usually do that just to 
get an idea how they handle in lower light conditions. So this is a really dark place right back here in the corner. Don't expect too much from these. These are CMOS cameras. So they aren't the greatest in low light. But you can see that. But here we are. And that's looking up at the sun. Looking down. Let's come over here. There's under the trees right there, still towards the sun. And now we'll move around, go this way, and kind of looking away from the sun, or at least to the side of it. Just like that. Hope this gives you some idea. Now let's put it down here for a field of view test. Mobius versus Bideye. Okay, now we're going to do sort of a focal length test here. Now I'm about six feet away from my chart. Coming in. Now this thing's supposed to go out of focus at about a meter. That's a meter right there. Now I'm coming in closer. There we go. Now that's really close right there. And we're only about uh, 30 centimeters away now. Okay, now we're going to go outside and test the bit eye, which is on the top here, against the PZ0420 board camera down here. So this is a common board camera, and we're going to test the video of this in the sunset conditions when we got really low light conditions. We're going to see how the bit eye performs in low light conditions as compared to the PZ0420. So here's what it looks like through the OSD, through the goggles, with the FPV cameras. So this is the PZ0420. This is the bid eye looking at the same scene. And you can see the colors are really good on the bid eye swinging around here away from the sun, but you can still see pretty good colors, not too bad. And now here's the PZ0420. Maybe a little brighter, but not quite as colorful. Back to the bid eye. Color is good and you can still see pretty good even at sunset. There's the PZ0420 again, not bad color, but not as good as the bid eye, which you can see here. So there you go. So here's what the bid eye camera looks like up against my Nighthawk Pro 280. And you can see, yeah, it'll fit right inside that slot, or maybe take it off the shock absorber and mount it in where the other camera is. But yeah, it's pretty much uh, small enough to fit inside there. And you can see that camera would easily go into that slot in there. And let's see how much it weighs. Okay, so that's how much it weighs right there, 25.7 grams. So if you have any questions, just leave them under the video as usual. I know this is a new product, so I may not know everything about it. But you can ask anyway, and I'll leave product information underneath the video. Here, like.